Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, and today's video is going to be on a controversial topic, of course, religion. So in a lot of my previous videos, I mentioned the fact that I'm not Christian, and for some reason that was such a big surprise because, I mean, obviously, Christianity is like the only religion that exists. Anyways, I mentioned a lot that I'm, I don't really follow religion and that I'm not Christian, and that was a shock to some people, and people wanted me to like elaborate and explain what my religion was. Um, I've been wanting to make this video for a while and I've been like really scared in a way because I just feel like this is sort of like a serious topic that just so you guys know, I'm not trying to hurt anybody, I'm not trying to offend you guys. I'm just explaining my personal beliefs. At the end of the day, a belief is a belief and there's not, there's no really, there's nothing really factual about beliefs, you know, at the end of the day. I mean, your beliefs could be right, mine could be right as well. We're just as um, likely to be right as each other at the end of the day, so don't bash each other's religion, like stop, like that needs to be put to an end. Open your minds. Open your third eye and pay attention to what I have to say. So I'm pretty much just going to give you guys like a main idea on what my beliefs are so you guys can understand where I'm coming from. And if any of you can relate to this in any sort of way, regardless of what your religion is, then you kind of fall into this category as well. So the first thing is, I feel like the existence of a god is completely unknown. And it is unknown, 100%. We don't really know who our god is or what that god looks like. Some people have claimed that they have seen god, but so have other people. And a lot of, many different people have seen many different things and had different experiences. So who's to say who really is God. Another thing is, I don't really think that an existence of a God is provable unless he or she decides to pop up. And it's really hard knowing that there's so many different religions that one of them is only right. And we don't know which one that is exactly. And who knows, maybe not even one of those is right. It could be none of them are right and there's something that we just completely don't know at all. It could go many different ways. Another thing, I think that the God that people portray nowadays is really unrealistic, which I'm going to use Christianity as example because that's like the main religion. You know, they believe that God created this earth, came out of Virgin Mary or whatever, like a woman who didn't even sleep with anybody. Like all that stuff doesn't really add up to me. It doesn't really make sense. And the only thing that people can use against me to prove that I'm wrong is the Bible most of the time. And the Bible was written by a human being. However, I'm always willing to talk to people about it, you know, and I definitely don't bash Christianity. I have nothing against it at all, but it's just something that I don't agree with. And I'm only using Christianity as an example mainly because it's like one of the leading religions. Like, it's one of the most popular religions. Last but not least, I have an I'll believe it when I see it mindset. If he or she comes up out of nowhere, pops up, there's our God. There, there you are. Whoop, there it is. And that's all it takes. That's the funny part. Like, if God were to just come out and show us who he or she is, it would end all debates, it would end all problems, and there would only be one religion. But there isn't, though. It's kind of why I question things. So if you agreed with any of the last things that I've said, then you are what I like to call agnostic. And I am here to explain that to you guys. Here, so I pulled up the simple definition of agnostic. A person that believes nothing is known or can be known of the existence or nature of God of anything beyond material phenomena. A person who claims neither faith nor disbelief in God. Another really simple uh, definition is, an agnostic is a person who believes that the existence of a greater power, such as God, cannot be proven or disproved. Therefore, an agnostic wallows in the complexity of the existence of higher beings. So, yeah, that's, that's a pretty simple Simple definition is not really that hard to comprehend. Basically what we think is just that who knows if God exists, you know? It's one of those things where we just feel like you can't really prove it. And then people always say things like, oh, well, people have had near-death experiences and have spoke to God or Jesus. But I can come back at you with the fact that people have had near-death experiences and haven't seen anything at all. I can come back at you with the fact that there were people who have claimed to reincarnate and remembered things from a past life. It goes many different ways. Another thing I wanted to point out is that agnostic is an umbrella term. It can mean so many different things and there's so many different types of agnostic people. You can follow religion and still be agnostic. You can be a Christian who's also somewhat agnostic. Agnostic, at the end of the day, just means unknown. Here's the type of agnostics we got in this world. Number one, there is agnostic theists, like myself. We believe in a god or gods, but we do not claim to know that there is a god. Basically, I do believe that there is a god out there, but I don't know who that person is or that thing. We don't really know who god is. Whatever put us here, it could be anything, and that is our god. You know, I really do feel like if you use your common sense, I mean, something had to put us here, you know, and that could be the Big Bang. It could be the god that you know, Christians portray. It could be absolutely anything. All it takes is for that being to show. Because I don't really think that things just pop. I don't know. We didn't just randomly pop up. I, I really do believe that we were put here or 
something caused all this and whatever caused all this and keep in mind that could be absolutely anything it doesn't even have to be a person that is our god it could be absolutely anything it could be a speck aliens it could be the freaking government for Christ's sake whatever whatever reason we're here for i mean that's that's our god right there there are agnostic atheists these are people who don't believe in a god at all but don't claim to know there is a god as well they pretty much have the belief basically saying hey i don't really believe in a god out there but it's not necessarily my place to say that there isn't one because at the end of the day there's no proof but i don't believe that there is one in the first place that's basically what it is there is limited agnosticism and these people believe that it is partially unknowable and that it is possible to know some things but not everything about god like you can know little pieces here and there but at the end of the day you're not going to know the entire picture so give up is basically what they're saying it's no different than how i mentioned before that people have had near-death experiences and claimed to see or speak to god it's one of those things and so you got a couple pieces here and there but what about the people who haven't seen god and what about the people who have had many different experiences where they've seen a different god like one that was completely different from yours things like that like you can know a little bit of pieces here and there but you're never going to get the entire puzzle and then there's unlimited agnosticism. And these people think that God is completely unknowable and it is 100% impossible to know God. And then the next one is apathetic agnosticism. And these people don't know if God exists or not, but they also don't care. They just completely just don't even care in the first place. And then there's pragmatic agnosticism. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And they basically believe that there is no proof of either the existence or non-existence of a God. That's it. A lot of these definitions sound really similar and it's mainly because they all fall under an umbrella and that's agnostic and it just means unknown we don't really know if there's proof at the end of the day and that's basically what it is and you can be christian you can be a paganist you can be atheist you can be buddhist and still really have faith in your religion but you can always keep in the back of your head that your religion might not even be true or that at the end of the day there's not really that much proof. You can still follow a religion. You can still be who you are. Don't let it discourage you. But it's it's always safe to say that, you know, even though I do believe that this person is a god, um, it's not really provable at the end of the day, but I do have faith in it. Just like how I have faith that there is a god out there, but I don't really know who that is. Some people do know who that is, but they don't really know. And that's just a part of being open-minded. Don't really know. And I always go by the saying, nobody ever knows anything. We don't really know. We don't know any lot of we don't know a lot of things about our history because we don't have a time machine. We don't know a lot of things about our God because a lot of people haven't met that person or being. They say things on the news that this took place or that took place, but I think that I do really really know because we weren't even there. I'm such an agnostic 100%. Another question a lot of people have is if agnosticism is a religion. And my answer to that is it's yours to decide. I actually got into a really tiny debate with my sister and I was talking to her about the agnosticism religion that I have. And she said, agnostic isn't a religion because it's a belief. And I came back with, so is religion. So it is definitely up to you to decide whether or not that's a religion. Um, whatever your belief system is, is a religion. You can create your own. You don't have to follow the crowd. You can come up with your own analogy and what your idealistic God is. It's all up to you. But it's always safe to keep in the back of your head that none of that stuff is actually provable. And it definitely keeps you from getting disappointed at the end of the day because let's say God does pop up and God isn't the God that you picture your entire life. You're going to be hurt. You devoted your life to something that you thought was there but wasn't. I'm not going to be hurt because I already opened my mind to the fact that that God could be anything. And that's why I'm agnostic. I guess it just comes with the package of being someone who's logical and I accept all things. I'm willing to learn about all things. But I always, always keep the facts inside my head, no matter what anybody has to say. It's part of being a realist, not an idealist. Keep in mind, I am not bashing anybody who has a different belief system than I do. Actually, I think it's great that other people have different beliefs, because that's what makes the world so colorful, because we're different. You know, not everyone needs to be the same. I don't want anybody to be the same. That's disgusting. I just hate people who follow crowds, and I, I just can't stand the fact that this world lacks a lot of individualism. People are only a certain thing because they were raised a certain way or because um, because simply everybody else is. And I'm against that kind of stuff. Be who you are and be who you want to be. And if you are whatever you were raised to be and you have 100% faith in that, then good for you. That is amazing. Keep being yourself at the end of the day. Keep in mind, agnostic doesn't always mean that you're doubting God or that you're confused because I'm not doubting God and I'm not confused. 
I'm not confused at all. I'm just keeping my mind open. That doesn't mean I'm confused. It just means that I'm open to all things. I'm open to whatever's there at the end of the day. I'm open to the facts. So yeah, that is my beliefs and um, that's what agnosticism is. I hope you understand. If you have these beliefs, then you also fall into that agnostic category. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that sort of cleared everything up. No, I'm not atheist. Um, but even if I was atheist, that doesn't really, that shouldn't really affect your views on me because like I said, everybody has different views on religion. And that is all I have for today. Make sure you add me on all my social media. My Instagram is Chandler Keys. Snapchat is always Chandler. Comment your religion. Explain why you have faith in that religion. And that is it for today. Also, make sure you share this video. Send it to whoever you think that has the same views as I do. That is it. I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys next week.